Welcome back, you lovely, kinky, nasty people. Here we are with the episode 6 of the Nasty Talk. Ah, Nasty Talks. I am Mirza. And I am Nicoletta. And we're bringing you the Nasty Talks one more time and many more to come. Thanks to your very, very positive feedback. But... This is a special one because it's episode number six. (laughs) I had to say Mm. it, okay? (laughs) I think they would like for you to say it, though. You want to give it a go? Okay, let's see. So, today it's a very, very special episode. And that is because it's episode number six. 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 Six, six, six. Would you stop spawning the devil? I think he's into most of the things, so I wouldn't mind having him as a guest. Talking about guests, we will hopefully have some in the soon future, near future. Yeah, near future, yes. Um, We We might might have a certain mermaid from Latvia, just (laughs) giving a hint here. (laughs) Yeah. Um, Yeah, we, we will see how it goes. And let us know if you want us to have a guest. Um, and what do you think we should have? Like, who do you think you would like to see? And what type of topics you think we should talk with a guest? So, yeah. Let us know. Yeah, let us know wishes. Again, yeah. I would like more about specific like jobs or interests, not how big breasts they need to have. Or whatever. You know, <laughs> keep it civil, people. Says the guy who's kinky as hell, but that's another side of the story, okay? <laughs> yeah, well, according to the person that uh, that we're going to have as a guest on, um, I mean, we can make it a video depending on how big the boobs are. Yeah, yeah. sure thing, <laughs> I guess. Uh, camera guys do not zoom in too much. I think that would be a bit overkill. Just saying. <laughs> no, but I don't think we should say too much keep it a bit secret you know mm. let's say who's going or coming but yeah i hope the person will enjoy it that's for sure yeah let's me see. too me too and of course uh, you can even ask questions if you would like to feature on the show yourself but we probably would need some info like yeah we, who you we are need and all this yeah stuff. and we need we need to know what you have to say and if there's anything that we can use for the podcast like some good stories that you have yeah, exactly. So it would be nice to know some stuff before you come in on the podcast and say you killed seven people or something. Yeah, you better slay them with your penis or pussy. Then we can have you on the show. But <laughs> oh, I don't want any murderers okay. in here. Well, you got to think creatively, right? You know, yeah. have you ever seen the Graham Norton show where he pulls like the chair? If yeah. it's a good story, they're allowed to walk. But if not, they just like get swooped back. We should do something <laughs> like that. Yes, but in a more sex way yeah sure oh you get some condoms or whatever we'll (laughs) figure it out by then don't worry yes we should always be safe especially on the sex podcast like a lot of people coming and going you know going 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 in and out (laughs) yeah good times Mm. talking about protection did we ever take up that topic because there are a lot of ways to do this yeah no we didn't we should yeah, okay. we actually should, because there are a lot of pros and cons, more or less. Mm, yeah, yeah, there are, depending on what type of protection you use and how you use it, I mean... Well, I'm not gonna lie here, for guys, obviously, I don't have that much of a saying in that term, because it's condom or not, or, I don't know, do you know if they make the, um, what do you call it, the ones that prevent you from getting pregnant, but for males. Pills for males. Yeah. The I contraceptive think. pills. Yeah. Maybe, I don't. I don't know if they do, but one thing that I would love to see is something like lube or some kind of liquid that you put on your penis or on your vagina, and that makes you not get babies. I mean, some kind of lube <coughs> that has an extra feature. So then you don't have to have the lube with you and the condoms with you and everything. Like, it's just like multi-purpose lube. Uh, simplified. <laughs> yes. Protection. I like the yeah. idea, but I don't think the science is in it. It doesn't add up when I think about it, at least. Well, you never know. 
Mm, but you true. have contraceptive pills for women and you have the, what do you call it, obviously. Mm, the spiral? The spiral, thank yeah. you. Yeah. And Pizarre, I think it's called in Danish, but I'm not sure what it's called in, in English. I don't know what is that. Bizarre. 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 bizarre it's a bizarre. bizarre. <laughs> yeah, sure thing. Mm. But yeah, so we can talk a little bit about this. Um, I've heard from a friend that the spiral is pretty uncomfortable when having sex. Like, depending on how big the dick is, um, the dick might actually hit the spiral and it feels oh. uncomfortable uh, for both uh, parties. Oh. And uh, um, also, uh, the friend that I have, she got uh, a lot of pimples and like skin. Uh, yeah, like bad maybe, skin because of the... Maybe it's the stress reaction from the spiral, if it hurts that maybe, much. Maybe maybe it is. Maybe it's just the fact that it's uh, something strange, like something that the body doesn't recognize in in itself. And then it's just trying to say something to... Like it's trying to react in a way, mm. saying that, okay, this is not good. And then it like it has certain reactions on the skin. But what's that one called that prevents you from getting pregnant for three or four years? Uh, that's the spiral. That's the spiral, okay. Yeah, Because yeah. from what I understood, we were talking about this like half a year ago, whatever. To so some people, it hurts like hell, literally. Like, yeah, yeah. So some others, it didn't feel that bad. But that depends on the, what do you call it? Lumo, you know? No. Depends Man. on your body and like how well you do with the pain like how sensitive you are to pain or something like that no actually from what i understood it depends on how well you are to giving birth man ah. it feels weird going live and googling translations right now <laughs> uh, let me see man in the meantime you can at least stare at her boobs or something but uh the cameras today oh. mm. uh, yeah well then you have to stare at your own boobs and think that they're mine maybe i don't know <laughs> Uterus, that's what I was thinking. Oh. Depending on how healthy and giving your uterus is, that depends the pain levels. Okay, that's yeah. interesting. Didn't know that. I just knew that people have different tolerances for pain. Oh, yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. So, uh -huh. yeah, Meh. I don't know. Um, but yeah, and also for the contraceptive pills, I think it's... It's a big thing depending on depending on the person and the level of hormones that they have and if they have more testosterone or more like a, a estrogen and so on. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> definitely, and you should definitely check in with your doctor before taking any kind of pills like that oh, because yeah. yeah, that might fuck you up a lot, a lot in your yeah. in your mind. Like and also. Yeah. From what I understood, they can also lower your what do you call it? Your urges. For yeah, sex. yeah, like when your you take libido. The, yeah, exactly. It affects yeah. your libido, really enough. <laughs> mm -hmm. But it, it's also I know when I started taking uh, the pills that I'm taking, I was a bitch. Oh my god, I had so many mood swings. It was terrible. I was crying from looking at chocolate and stuff like that. <laughs> Kitty, like it was also like the love of my life. So I would look at chocolate and I'll be like, baby. And then five minutes later, I would like take a piece, eat a piece, and then I would be, I would cry. I would be like, no, I ate you. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I thought you were crazy. <laughs> but now you're even crazier on pills. Well, that makes sense, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Too bad. yeah, okay. Now it's better because everything got cleared out it's kind of like it it's fine now it's fine after months years it got better but in the first period i think in the first month it was terrible oh yeah so. i don't doubt it and also like for people like for women that haven't tried it yet and haven't tried taking contraceptive pills in some cases you might uh, bleed even though you're not on your period like it might happen like during the first month of taking pills or even like three months uh, from taking pills, you might bleed actually quite a lot without being on your period. And oh. just so you know, it's normal. It's your body getting adjusted to the level of, level of hormones and uh, how it's regularly functioning with that. So it's okay. But that's one type of the pills. I heard about hormonal pills as well. 
it's not the same it's a bit different and you still no, can't all, get all of the uh, pee pills like all of the uh, contraceptive pills have hormones in them oh, yeah, it, yeah. they just have different levels of hormones and they have like ah. uh, more testosterone or more estrogen or less estrogen yeah, less testosterone and all that i was at um i was in the city the other day and i was like Oh yeah, you should don't forget to use this because I care. Like I don't yeah. want like any babies in nine months or STDs. Or, and she said, "Oh, don't worry about it. I'm on the pills." Mm -hmm. like, okay, then give me back my condom because it's no. my specific <laughs> size, you know. Uh, mm. What? <laughs> <laughs> nothing, nothing. I was thinking about size. specific specific size. Okay, so then you're not regular. Then you're either small or big. <laughs> Yeah, you're always in between. No, like some people are medium. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to talk about my penis size right now. No, okay. I don't want to brag. <laughs> okay, so then it's small. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> that uh, was like indirectly saying the size, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, have you ever had the situation in which she was not on pills or something like that and then uh, there was a risk of you getting her pregnant and she had to take a, a <clears throat> second day pill um second day no um, i either don't have sex with i rarely ever have sex without protection i don't it's just like i want to be on the safe side you know mm -hmm. um no, but she was on the spiral and she was pretty intelligent, so I was trusting enough for it. Yeah. So, but no, not any of the. I had to go by the second day pills or whatever. Because I always remember some time ago, we came back to my place and more or less naked. And they were almost going for it. And I said, oh, fuck, I'm out of condoms. And she's, oh, I'm on the pill. I'm like, yeah, but I don't feel, there's nothing to do with you, but I just don't like unprotective sex because we just met more or less. So we never yeah. know. Yeah, but that was with that particular girl. But did you ever encounter in your life that a girl had to take uh, the second day pill? No. No. Okay, that's very responsible of you then. Yeah, of course. Yeah. But it was a really annoying night because we both wanted to ride it. But the nettle was so far away. Mm -hmm. uh, that's like boiling point teasingness and all mm -hmm. that stuff. Uh, <laughs> just Memories. Memories. Memories coming back, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good ones. So She's not a Denmark anymore. She went to somewhere to work as one of those what are called? dealers at a casino. Oh. Yeah. Pretty face, good eyes. Mm, that's why. <laughs> yeah, mm. <laughs> more or less. Yeah, that's nice. I think they make a lot of money in those places. Like depending on how you look. Yeah, of course. but she was working for the online kind. Ah, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I just smile, like talk with the customers. Yeah. So then the only thing that the customers could see is like boobs. If yeah, yeah, yeah. Like she had specific work dress she had to wear, to smile for a bit, but we still kept a bit of contact. Like after we had fun, because she had to leave after three days after I met her. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I was like, oh, so how's life over there? And she showed me her apartment. It was fucking huge. Like really, three three stories, and the company paid for that stuff. And living standards were pretty cheap there, so yeah. good times. Enough yeah. about that. That's not hot enough. No, <laughs> well, it is for me because I keep on thinking back to those days. But yes, and you have the memories. Yeah. But um, yeah, I mean, um, I can um, tell you about what happened recently. I had a, an interesting story uh, happening. I, um, you know, that I sprained my ankle, uh, and for people that don't know, I sprained my ankle a while back. It was not during sex. She was just very clumsy. I was very drunk. <laughs> oh yeah, that as well. Yes. Mostly that actually. <laughs> oh, actually, in that night, I um, I was with Mirza and with some other people. <laughs> oh, and, that was such a yeah, good night. Yeah, and we found a fountain. Is it like? Yes. Yeah, it was a fountain, and it was full of uh, soap and that kind of soap that makes the bubbles, foam? the foam thing. 
And the water was warm from what I remember. I don't know how drunk I was, but I remembered it warm. Yeah, but I went in full body in my underwear. <laughs> yeah, but I went in first with my feet and I was just like splashing everywhere. And I was telling people, come in, come in. <laughs> so you can see how yes. drunk I was. <laughs> my God, you were, you were provocating that one guy so much like... Yeah, but you're not a real deal. You're a liar and stuff like that. Was I, I telling that? To yes. Him? Okay, fuck. And I was just thinking, Nico, what the fuck? Just let it go. He doesn't want to go. He doesn't want to go. But I was on top of that, like, lung thing in the middle yeah, of the Yeah, I, I know you were, like, from the jungle or something, just climbing on stuff. Well, and... Bosnia, jungle, not a big difference. True. <laughs> oh, you're from Man, Romania. I... Don't get me started. <laughs> well, I'm not good at climbing and, like, going in trees and whatever other oh, stuff. Oh, I'm horrible at that as well, so... <laughs> yeah, um, but no problems with statues in the fountains. No, that's <laughs> easy peasy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, that was really hard, actually. Okay. I don't like try bouldering. Because mm. I like to be on top. Wink, wink. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, you were saying sprained ankle. Yes, and uh, I sprained my ankle. So I was pretty much inside the house for, I, I was supposed to be inside the house for like two weeks, but after one week I was like, fuck this shit, I can't do this anymore, I need to go out. It was Friday night, I was like, I called some people, I was like, okay, we're going out. And then I ended up going to a bar and getting some drinks and so on, it was chill. And then we decided Without to... Without me? Yeah, you I was were... not in that city, I know. Yeah, you were... Not uh, in Denmark. No, no, I don't no, know. No, that was not that trip. That was you a, were in Copenhagen, in, right? No. Oh, no, I was in a mall uh, okay. at a friend's place, like just a, what do you call it? moving in party. Yeah. Anyways. Okay, and um, yeah. So afterwards, we went to a bar, like to a club. Um, it's actually the club where we go all the time. Um, no sponsoring. But we could do that if you are for some free Red Bulls after the podcast has become famous, you know. Wink, wink. <laughs> True. And um, I don't know how it happened. Like, we just got so many shots because a girl just went crazy and bought a lot because she was fucking drunk. And then we had to drink all the shots because obviously we couldn't just leave there. You leave cannot there. say no to alcohol. No, never. Especially because there were tequila. Oh my God, tequila shots. Mm. Oh, thank God we don't like the same alcohol. <laughs> you don't like tequila? I hate tequila. Fuck. But it's so good. <laughs> oh, I can lick a body shot off, off anybody. I'm mm. not saying no to that, that's for sure. <laughs> <You don't know. laughs> no. no. Go ahead. Yeah, and then... Um, yeah, it, it just happened that I had some alcohol, okay? And then I was outside with this guy that I knew. And he was telling me a story about... I don't know, something, something very sad... That happened to him. And I was like, oh. And then I oh, kissed no. him. <laughs> no. Yes. yes. And after I kissed him, I told him, so your place? And he said, well, I don't think I can do much tonight. But yeah, we can go to my place. And I was do like. Do much tonight? What do you mean? Yeah, I, th- I assumed. I thought he would be like tired. So he, yeah, tired he, in yeah, that yeah. sense, or like just drunk, and probably he thought he yeah, couldn't. Yeah. yeah, but that was not the case no. because we got to his place, and I started taking my clothes off to like get in bed, and um, I don't know. I I saw him coming in the bedroom, and then I just started taking the clothes off in a more sexy way. Yeah, and then one thing led to the other, and we started kissing, and we started like touching each other and so on. And then he told me, well, I have to tell you that I have never done this before. And I was like, what? Sex? He was like, yeah, I have never done this before. Really? In Denmark? Yeah. Okay, wait, can I guess some Mm, things? No, you can't. Not right now. Okay. You can try later. (laughs) Okay, sure. Go ahead. Okay. And, um... Yeah, okay. I was like, okay, I I actually got the more, I I got more energized from that moment. I was like, okay, I'm going to teach you. I'm going to show you how to do it. Yes, Yes, I'm going to show you how to do it. And then, yeah, we just started like doing it. And it was so funny at some point. He was like so sweet, if you can call it like that and funny. Like, um, Like he had to wear glasses. 
and like <laughs> he was not wearing glasses and the thing is like he like went down on me and he wanted to like look and then he was like wait a bit and he put his glasses no! <laughs> and he looked and he's like oh it's so beautiful oh my god <laughs> you know? and i was like oh that's like so sweet in a way because nobody looked at my vagina before and said oh that's so beautiful maybe only my mom when i got born or something I don't, but that was maybe a, everything about yeah, me yeah, not yeah. only about my vagina <laughs> so yeah and yeah i have been hooking up with him ever since and i have been like teaching him a lot of stuff and i think it's like going on a good path like i'm really oh, proud good. i'm really proud of what i'm making here good teacher that's nice thank you so thank good you. Mm. but yeah like sometimes i'm thinking uh i would love to just like get my brains fucked by somebody who knows how to do it properly well i need to just dating yeah but like there was a weird situation we were at the party in one of the days and he like kissed me in front of other people and then i realized that this is uh, going serious yeah, yeah. and i i told him actually like two days ago after we had sex obviously obviously, <laughs> obviously yeah. yes um i told him that i can't have a relationship right now and i like i realized That's at that fine. moment like when i heard well, like when he kissed me in front of those people i was like okay this is getting serious I am not ready for this to be serious. I yeah. can't be serious right now with anybody. But it's so. also an indication of your mind, kind of when you start kissing in front of others. Yeah. More or less. Yeah. So. Yeah. So that was like, because I didn't even thought about it before. I was oh. thinking like, even though I was thinking that like, this is nice, like hooking up and so on, and it might <clears> lead to a relationship. And I was like, okay, that's fine. It's, I don't have a problem with that. But then when the action was, moving like when he kissed me in front of other people i yeah. realized i don't want the relationship now i know that i don't want it for sure yeah so, but that's a good for you at least maybe it's uh, a bit maybe it was a bit harsh for him yeah, yeah. um but, but yeah i was trying to be nice and i told him that i don't want a relationship and i asked him like how is how what does he think and like how is he with this situation and he was like well i'm not gonna lie i was thinking we were heading towards a relationship and he was kind of sad mm. um about that but yeah I, and i can imagine like since <laughs> since i was the only person that he had sex with it's obvious that he kind of like wants to keep me around or yeah, like yeah. he wants something out of it but i think mm. he should just experiment and explore and like do all no, that and i was actually in his stage first well not first like i have been in his place as well so yeah i think what you're doing is the right thing i also remember i feel harsh and like i was more or less of a teenager being like but yeah. what if i don't find anybody like you know all the yeah. thoughts keep going because if you like i'll guess the age and all that stuff i was what 25 at that point yeah and you know it was just new for me and i but i needed to find out and explore about it. she also told me like you gotta go out and have experience and all that stuff so and she was right, of course, for me, it was just weird and thinking, what the fuck is going on? Because I never get attached. Yeah. But that's the thing about when you start having sex and you want to learn more. and you, Yeah. It's like in the, kind of in the movies with, oh my gosh, she's the one and all that stuff. Yeah. The feelings. But for him, it's like the first time and he needs to experience a bit more time to figure out what does he actually really want. Yeah, is it like the fact that he's attracted or like attached to me right now? Is it because of me as a person or is it just because of the experience that I created yeah, for exactly. him? Exactly. <clears throat> but when it comes to dating, it's also good to be ice cold and communicative in the beginning. Like, I'm yeah. only looking for sex. I don't want to attach myself to anybody. That's how often as a stuff. And hopefully, one of the Tinder dates you like find is worth dating for at least half a year or something you know yeah but probably what we all hope for yeah that's true but you never know like it's it's a never-ending search i think uh, yeah, and yeah. then at some point it might happen that that's actually the person that it you can actually have something with for the future but the thing is 
I don't think that there's a right or wrong person. I think it's more about where you are in your life and what exactly. you want exactly. And if that resonates with what that person wants at that point in their life as well. And also the th stuff about the one, it's such, I don't know, it's just cliche more or less. <coughs> yeah, because of course you can have a person that has the same value, same interest, all that stuff, but things just change once in a while. Yeah. You, know, yeah, you, you do. don't stay the same person no. forever you develop as a human being hopefully like you have growth involved yeah and also with friendship so let's say you have party people and they drink all the time but you're like you know what i don't really need it that much i want to focus on my fitness life and focus on my job and maybe start in for promotion doing some hobbies on the sideline and then you can just start to phase out because the interests start to slip away and the same yeah. thing can be in a relationship like in the beginning i actually lo do love the like the surprising couples that like they don't have a lot of the same interests but they start sharing stuff they go on compromises and they found new sides from themselves that's pretty yeah. giving i would say yeah that is also a way to do it but i feel like sometimes you can get lost in that situation if you do that too much and if you uh, think like oh maybe i should try this hobby that this guy like that i'm dating has then you kind of lose a little bit of yourself trying to get into his like under his skin mm. so it, you kind of lose your personality by oh, trying yeah. to make that relationship work and I don't think that's necessarily a healthy way to do no, it like of course you can do it until a certain point and then from then on, it seems a bit more unhealthy because then you change yourself, like most of yourself is going to be changed in order to please him or to make the relationship work. Yeah, you change yourself for someone else, but not for yourself. Yeah. That's when it yeah. becomes a problem. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> ah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I want to know. Virgin, you say? Yeah. I think in culture wise, was he a Muslim because there was a bit reserved and they no, don't? No, he wasn't no no and like the thing is i wait was I've, he young like then it could make sense maybe a bit shy no he was not young 27 27 yeah okay that's fine yeah it's a good yeah. age yeah i think so too like but it's every person does it when they feel like it and when they have the opportunity and when they've like I don't know. It it just depends on people's lives and uh, you know mm. what happens in their lives. Yeah, of yeah. course. But it's also depending on how their professional life has been and all that stuff. Yeah. So, I'm thinking, what's it called? That if somebody has focused too much on their career, then they didn't like go out for the dating life and all that stuff, and yeah. just going for the ASIN in school, you didn't have that much social stuff. So that's what I'm thinking. No, that's true. But I don't think that was the case with him. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, tough to say. Yeah. I don't know. You started with pity sex. That's never a good start. Like, <sighs> oh, I feel sad. I went in for the kiss. So. Yeah, like it was such a sad story and I was so drunk and I was like... I want to okay. make you feel better. Yeah. But it, it was but... necessary, apparently. Yeah, but it was also because I felt like I wanted to. So it was not just because... I don't know. It, it was funny. Like the whole night I felt... Uh, interested in him and it was because he was not doing anything to me you know and then i just felt like oh that's a challenge but it was not like he was rejecting me it was yeah. just because he didn't thought about it he didn't like even like thought about like hitting on me and then you know i would go and like he would be at the table with like other people and i would just put my arm around him and you know and like try small stuff and then i would see like he doesn't really act hmm. on it in any way and then i was like hmm what's wrong here a guy you know with glasses don't try don't try i think i know who it is but i'm not gonna spoil anything <laughs> i think i know who it is though Fuck is you. it Fuck yeah you. <laughs> oh man i'm good <laughs> uh, yeah sorry the camera's not on so it's a good thing for today because yeah. i just insinuated it with some <laughs> Pretty simple and recognizable moves. Oh, yeah. Enough about it. I'm not going to talk about it. it no. Yeah, I get it. Like, I think my thoughts become different, but I'm not surprised at anything. So, 
But okay. my thoughts do become different when you actually know the person. Like, yeah, you know, it changes, like about. the perspective changes, right? Uh, yeah, exactly. Because yeah. if I told you like about a random hookup I had in Aarhus or whatever, it yeah. didn't mean shit. Yeah, exactly. I kind of I know that I didn't try anything. Like we were at a Halloween party two years back and there was this sister couple. I don't know. I think I could have had a threesome that night. Oh, oh my bad. God. Then you missed the chance. And they were hot. That's no. the worst part. <laughs> Ugh. Anyways. Oh, I feel so sorry for you. Yeah. Well, well next Halloween party. Yeah, we're gonna have one soon, actually. Yeah, we're yeah. getting. Uh, yeah, maybe the podcast is gonna be posted. <laughs> we could actually do it with the t-shirts. That's not a bad idea. I'm gonna be the event maker, so. Yeah. Yeah, want some sponsors? No, but the thing is, we want to postpone it till the week after Halloween, because mm-hmm. there's so much going on, actually. Yeah, but it's gonna be good to have yeah. a party. A party where you can be whatever you want to. You can be like if you're a dick, you can be a vagina, and the other way around, and you can yeah. be boobs if you want to. I know that this episode will air after the party, logically, but I'm gonna kill anybody that comes dressed as Son Goku and a Son Goku. I'm one of those. Oh, what Son Goku? What is that? Son Goku. Yeah. You don't know me enough. It's from Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball. What is that? It's an anime. Okay. I, I think you'll have a nerds. shitstorm at some point from the nerds <laughs> if you don't know your Dragon Ball. No, I I hate anime stuff, even porn, even like hentai. Well, you didn't tell me that about that last time when we spoke about like what do you call? It? Did you? I know we talked about hentai some yeah. episodes ago. Yeah, I'm. I think I I feel like it's too unrealistic. It's way too fake. Oh yeah yeah. yeah. But I like the storytelling when I read all that stuff. Like, mm, I like it because mm-hmm. it gets my mind going. I like that part about sex as well. Yeah. Like, it can escalate your imagination, not to something that's super unrealistic, of course. But no, no. But um, there was one hentai uh, video, like small video, that I was like so into, and I don't even know like why. I think it's because it was kind of like. It seemed so real and it was kind of like in a public setting. It was uh, a girl in a train or metro or whatever. And a guy was just like, he just started like fingering her in the in the train and she was like standing. So it was from the back. And like she just got so surprised and she was like, oh, what is happening? You know, like, <laughs> I didn't even know that that's going to happen. And then it just seemed like, oh, wow, that's like ballsy, you know. Oh, yeah, that's very... Rapey also, but uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, that's the inter- interesting part. You get also for pickups. I think the best places are trains and airports. Airports. Enough. Yeah. Didn't really happen to me yet. Ah, maybe a little bit, but yeah. I remember clearly at one point, and it was weird, because the only thing I was doing, sitting at my seat. Relaxing. I had my pink beanie on, mm-hmm. and the mouth guard and the jacket on, and I didn't do a lot of talking. Just listening to my music for myself. And at one point, I called my mother, so I spoke in Bosnian for like ten minutes or whatever. And I just looked over on the left side sometimes, just you know, looking because she was staring obviously. Yeah. I was thinking like, okay, and then I did it again. It, it kind of felt uncomfortable because it felt like being just watched over. Yeah. And with time, I don't care. Again, it's a part of life, I guess. So, and I was just going to the toilet and she was following me oh. and it became too much. <laughs> I think she she wanted to get my info or something. I was just yeah. left, left out of train. I was thinking, well, that's weird. Like, she's not that bad. But who the hell would go for a guy in a pink beanie? <laughs> ah. <laughs> so, true, yeah. true. Especially because that pink beanie is like way too extra. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah and that's yeah. saying something well yeah. it's me so it goes with the persona but <clears throat> i have it here yeah. around somewhere actually oh, yeah no it but that's fine it's fine <laughs> you don't have to put you'll it be on. distracted i get it i get yeah. it yeah well it would go well with your t-shirt and your oh, yeah. yeah we didn't even have to coordinate our clothes today oh no. did you look good Thank i like you. the what is it olive green yeah it's olive green Olive green dress. Do not correct me. You know I don't know the difference <laughs> anyways. No. 
It, it is a dress. This time it is a dress. <laughs> I win. So what's my purpose? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. I can tell you another story. Yeah, go for it. That's yeah. not only a reward for me, but for the audience as well. Well, you kind of know this story, but I just want to point out um, what happened yesterday. Um, oh, I'm forgetful. You're so. forgetful. You were there. I, I told you the story. But um, it was um, a guy that I know at this meeting slash party stuff that was going on and uh, he was actually telling me that uh, he listened to the podcast and uh, he thought that it was really funny uh he listened to the first episode and he was like oh it was really funny i really liked it especially the mango thing and blah blah and i was like okay that's nice and he was like I i'm so like happy that you're so open about all these kind of things and uh, you can just say things as they are and so on and i was like okay that's nice and then he was like okay so did you ever have a black dick <laughs> and I was, uh, no. And he was like, want to try one? And I was like, I don't know, I'll think about it. And then he was like, okay, let's just exchange info and let me know if you want one at some point. That's pretty ballsy. I like the attitude, but isn't it going over like a boundary or something? Uh, kind not, of. No, not, not, not for that me. Part, but not, not asking for me. if you had black dick at some point. Yeah, not for me. I. I don't mind saying, I don't mind being open, especially with people that I don't know that well, because then it's kind of like, it's it's a way to know each other, you know? Oh, yeah. So for, for me, it's fine. I don't have a problem with that. But I don't know, for other women, it might be a bit too, like, invading in their personal space oh. because it's such a... Uh, such a topic, like, sexual topic. But we were anyways already talking about, uh, like, the podcast. And since... I was saying a lot of other stuff on the podcast that yeah, yeah. he just assumed that it's fine, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it was fine. Like, for me, it's fine. Hmm. I wonder if he'll ever get recognized in the street for this. It could be interesting. <laughs> I would love to. Yeah. It would be nice. Yeah. Just, just come and say hi. If you know us from the podcast, just come and say hi to us. I will gladly say your pussy is beautiful if I go down on you. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> yeah, you should. I think it's a really nice compliment. Because, like, as men also are, um, I don't know, a bit unsure and insecure about their penis size and all that. And, like, how the penis looks like and everything about their body in general. Like, oh, women yeah. are too. And especially about vaginas because vaginas come in, like, a lot of shapes and forms and, like styles and colors and all that so it, it's nice for us to just hear like oh you have a pretty pussy yeah <laughs> yeah i think it's a really nice compliment especially like when having sex like what else can you say when having sex oh i love your boobs oh like it feels good and like stuff like that and then it can be like oh you have such a pretty pussy <laughs> yeah i think that's also something like Sorry, I women... was just spacing out in sex talk. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Like, some women wouldn't even, like, think of that, you know? They wouldn't even expect it at all. And then I think it would make it more, like, enjoyable and tense-free when you yeah, do these yeah. kind of things. Especially if it's the first time you have sex with that specific woman. And then it's, like, all this kind of tense. And then you don't really know each other that well. And it gets in a weird like mood then you just make a joke like a joke a compliment that can be taken as like something funny you know yeah, yeah. it's kind of like out of a sudden just being serious like sex is going or i don't know like foreplay is going and then out of a sudden you're like oh i have to tell you something like you have such a pretty pussy like oh my god <laughs> well that's fair but yeah both partners are usually nervous but it's good if the other one is calm i complimented on that one because she was talking about well, it's the first time with you and I'm a bit of nervous, like, just relax, no one's around, it's just us two, and then you just, like, chill it out. Yeah, like, And then you fuck your brains yeah. out. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. I think it's very important, if you can do that, to kind of, like, zoom out of the sex, especially if you're too tense and you can't really do it. Just zoom out of what is happening and kind of imagine yourself standing, like, outside of the sexual interaction and watching yourself with that person. And then you see that it's like so basic. It's so plain. It's just two people enjoying themselves having sex. That's what is going yeah, on. Yeah. And then it should help with your mind kind of relax but because it's 
when you see how stressed you are and how many thoughts you have in your mind and then when you like kind of space out and all those mm-hmm. thoughts are just something that you see going on like you don't think of them you just see them passing away mm-hmm. then it's like you see such a huge difference in your clarity in your mind and like how you feel and that's also going to help you orgasm that's what is going to help you orgasm yeah, yeah. like spacing out and not thinking about anything just feeling the pleasure and that's yeah, it. exactly that's going to help a lot yeah but i think I, that's why i usually have issues with that i last long because i have so many fucking thoughts going on in the head mm-hmm. like i'm never in it like ever mm-hmm. really only if i've eaten well i was like oh that's good food. No, that's fuck. And then I can really enjoy it. <laughs> I feel like that's like a lot of like, or I had a lot of experiences with men that do that. Like a lot of men are just like, okay, let's eat. And then we eat and then eat, they eat a lot. And then they're like, now let's have sex. You know? Yeah, like, I'm food. apparently one of them. I get it. Yeah. But like for women, I think most of the women, because of the society and how we are, um, I don't know, more, uh, insecure about our bodies Uh then we want to not eat before having sex because then our tummy is not full and then it doesn't show so then we have flat stomachs and then it looks good then we don't have to like suck that stomach (laughs) when when like we're getting fucked doggy or something and then like make sure that he's not looking on the side of you and (laughs) seeing that like tummy hanging (laughs) Men be, become Neanderthals when they want to fuck, so don't think too much about it. Yeah, no, like, I, I know that men have also told me that they, like, we don't think. We don't think about you, about, like, how you look in the morning, in the moment. We only think about the pussy and how that feels. Mm, yeah, and, like, we look at, do, and like, we look at the ass and the boobs and all that. You're making so much noise. Sorry. Stop. <laughs> Okay, okay, men yeah. are Neanderthals. They just want to have sex. They don't care about like uh, your stomach blowing out. Yeah. Okay. Good to know. Thank you, and you're welcome for all the women that maybe thought about this before. Because I know I have, and I am still doing that. And I know I have to stop, but it's hard. And of course, it's hard. I uh, think it will stick you no matter what. You know. <clears throat> yeah. So yeah, insecurities, protection, right times to lose your virginity, probably. There are none. (laughs) Interesting sex talks. That's some of the topics we went through today. I would say it's been giving. I wonder what we're going to title this episode. I liked it. Yeah, I think we finally uh, didn't go too overboard in the topics. We kind of kept it in the same area. So that's yeah. a start. We're getting better. <laughs> that's a start. Yeah. And yeah. also a bit of teasing, you know. It might not just be the two of us next time. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. And I didn't even talk about my sex stories. I tried some new stuff there on my foreign travels, more or less. Oh. Yeah. I have that in mind until next time. Thank you for tuning in. And the nasty talks you love is I'm Mirza. It was my pleasure talking with you. And hopefully you like it. Yes, and uh, this was Nicoletta with Mirza. And (laughs) yeah, we talked about a lot of good stuff. And um, I hope you're going to tune in for this episode and the next episode. And you're going to give us the great feedback that we're waiting for. Because this is what keeps us moving and going. Hearing that you like it and hearing that you want to know more. And also just giving all the feedback that you have and basically like what you want to know we are here to tell you stuff that you don't know so yeah and i think we can actually learn some what a thing or two from you guys as well if you yeah. want to correct us on some stuff like i yeah. don't have a phd in sex yet but we might have a woman on at some point that has mm. Mm. yeah food for thought yes right. well then that is it thanks for tuning in and uh, see you next and time stay nasty yes Bye.